I'm in a hole, <laughs> um, not hiding. It's daytime. I'm continuing where I left off last week. I am still over in the Hell House area. I was looking at my quest book. Oh gosh, is it getting daytime? No. Okay. I was looking at my quest book. Actually, I made it home. <laughs> oh gosh. It's it's okay, it's a whole thing. I made it home and I was looking at my quest book and I came all the way back here in a hurry. Um I'm trying to make sure it's not nighttime. Um I do still have my bed, right? Okay, good. Um as you can see, I was home and I was actually getting seeds and stuff and something told me to look at my quest book because I wanted to see if the quest was going to oh it is getting nighttime. Um if the quest was going to register. Okay, let me let me get let me get let me get um situated here. Okay. I'm I'm blocked in and I have some light. So I wanted to see if the quest was going to register in the book and I couldn't find the quest in the book. And I was like, Oh my God, did I need to like have the book open or on me or something when I was there? So I trekked all the way back over here, got lost, trekked all the way back over here and, um, in a hurry. And <laughs> I was like, I couldn't, cause the book does not have the quest in it anymore. Let me show you. Like, okay, it says one quest with unclaimed rewards, right? So I go here and I can't find that quest that showed the the map. The thing that said the map on it. So now I'm like, oh my gosh, did I like screw something up without not doing it the first time that I got here? Um, so I was like, well, maybe I had to go to those exact coordinates and open up the book. So I came here to those exact coordinates, which are, um, well, which were 762, 11, 28. And I was like, well, maybe it's a treasure or something that I had to dig because it said treasure map. So I started digging down. It wasn't that far as you could see. And I came to this and that's when I decided, oh, let me record. And cause this was here. Um, this could be dangerous because it is night. I could make a day. Let me make a day. I mean, not that it's night or day. I'm down here. Um, I don't know what's under here. Nothing. I mean, these are stone stairs. I mean, well, whatever these are, granted, these are granite stairs. Oh, there is a treasure. Oh, I didn't mean to. <gasps> reward bag. Hardcore questing mode. Oh, there is a reward. Okay. Oh, I'm over there messing in Hell House. I had nothing to do with Hell House. Okay, so. Okay. So there is something, there was something under here. Oh, Lisa, your big doo-doo bird head. I'm taking these stairs though, because I can't make stone stairs. I can't make granite stairs. Okay. Um, what is in, what is that? Hardcore questing mode. What does that mean? I don't, I don't know what that means. Oh. Mysterious banner, 8.33 chance to get this reward. Click to close. Oh, I got a banner. Wow. Okay. Crimson cult banner. Awesome. So I got a banner. Oh, okay. I'm going to take this chest. Um, Is it still night? Uh, I'm using the wrong tool. So I came all the way back over here. And hell, oh, it is nighttime. Well, I do have a bed. Okay, so let me make a day. And before somebody falls on me. And then I can get out of here. It's daytime. That would suck if I screwed that up. Oh, no. Oh, 
You've got to be kidding me. Okay, well, I will see you back in the hole. Let me go get uh, some food and some a tool, or uh, uh, I do have an extra, whew, an extra few things. Okay, I will see you back in the hole. Um, I got my stuff. I'm not quite sure why. I gotta. I thought the Enderman was still down there, but apparently. I don't know if he despawned by the time I got here or what. So I'm heading home. I'll see you back home again. You have got to be kidding me. There is an endermite up in this tree. Oh, God. You know, this is my life. I swear. Nobody else has Minecraft problems like I do. <laughs> How is there an Endermite up in this tree? <sighs> okay, well, hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> it's Lisa, a.k.a. Cosmic Mermaid, and today we're playing Regrowth. I'm up in a tree. Um, I'm uh, just chopping this tree down, and apparently there's an Endermite up here with me. So, uh, I'm not quite sure what to do about that. Um, is he going to go away? I kept hearing it, and I thought maybe he was down on the ground somewhere. I didn't, because I, I was chopping a couple of trees. Uh, great. Maybe he left. No, no, he hasn't left. How did you get up in this tree? Great. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Wonderful. Um, all right. I need to get, I want to get this tree down because it's like hanging over. <gasps> Where is he? Yep. He's right there. It's like hanging over the edge. Ender baby. Lord. You know, can't have anything. So I actually, this is actually um, a while since I've been back from Hell House. And um, you just saw the clip. Uh, there he is. Can I get him? No. Um, I figured things out that I needed to go back over there. And I got the banner, which was, I believe, fulfilled the quest. But my quest book is still... Oh, oh there he is. He, he's not bothering me. Um, my quest book is still all pretty... It's still saying that there's a quest that's unfulfilled. Oh, that tree is way out there. Um, that's unfulfilled. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, uh, Desert Rat did tell me that Hell House is something that I really don't need to go into. Um, it's a bunch of spawners and, uh, a wither, um, a wither thingy-majiggy. So, yeah, I don't really need to mess with that. But, you know me, I kind of want to mess with it at some point. <laughs> I mean, I think we get really pretty good armor in this game at some point in the process. So, I do, I don't know, I may go back over and mess with Hell House at some point, but it's not going to be anytime soon because I still don't have armor. I don't, you know, I still got flint tools. Um, that's not going to be helpful at all. So, this tree is never going to get down unless I get all these wood out of here. So, yeah. That's, uh, so Desert Rat, thank you for that information. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be night, so let me get out of here. Oh Lord, which one? Okay. Then I was going to say, which one did I pillar up on? So let me make it day and then I can fill you in on everything that's been going on. I'm going to go in and sleep. It's day. I don't know if that ender might is, and he's still out there. I don't know what they do. I've never killed one and he'll probably kill me. <laughs> Do they give ender pearls? Oh, they do give ender pearls. Okay, I don't. I never mess with them. Um, they're easier to kill than endermen. 
Are they under babies? I don't know what they are. Um, anyway, <laughs> did I just kill a baby? I don't really care. <laughs> Anyway, so a lot has been going on since I've been back from Hell House and all of that carrying on. I've, um, I've done a few things. Can I get those? I've done a few things. I got me another Ender Pearl. That's always fun. Let me get my stuff out of here. Um, I did want to plant some more of these. And then I, I've, done, I've finished a couple of different quests. And I got this Sakura sapling and a cypress sapling. So I'm going to plant those. I've been putting down more dirt. So I've got some more grass. Let me put this Sakura sapling, which looks like it might be pretty. And this cypress sapling, which might be pretty too. Um, and then I'm going to put some more of these couple more of these down because they give me a lot of wood and apparently can never have enough wood in this game so let me just put a couple more of those down and maybe here um yeah so i've been doing a lot i've got sugar cane growing out here um yeah let me take you inside show you what i've been doing first and then i'll explain to you what's going on out here I got this tr big old tree. These these trees grow huge, as you can see. Uh, oh gosh, I still got to get that down. I need some stuff to pillar up on besides dirt. I mean, besides wood, which really doesn't make a difference. Um, pretty much, I haven't done any more stuff in here with the. I've been doing uh, doing the quest. I haven't done anything in here. Um, growing some snow bells, trying to get 1010. Garlic is doing its thing. Cucumbers are doing its thing. Um, I got essence seeds was part of a quest that I did. And now I'm trying to get, I think it's nature seeds, but apparently it's not working. So I got to get that going again. Uh, let me check these essence seeds, see if they're better seeds than the ones I already have down here. Essence seeds, four, six, six, three, six, six, no. Okay, so I'll put those in here. Pick up this and put these down here. Okay, so this right here um, is a problem and it's making me mad, okay? It is a chest. Um, from the, it's a better barrel is what it is. And apparently you can't move it. What it is, is you put things in it. It holds a whole lot of stuff of one. It holds a lot of item. It holds a lot of items of one thing. It holds a lot of items of one thing, I guess. I don't know. You can only put one item in it. Like it had it apparently I put a hatchet in it or the axe in it so it only hold ax an axe but it'll hold a whole lot of axes I guess more than a regular barrel and more than a chest okay great wonderful but apparently you can't move the daggone thing without a dolly so I can't break it I can't break it with anything <laughs> I just sat it down because I wanted to see how it worked. Um, it came with, it was a reward, right, for a um, quest that I did. It came with this barrel hammer. So I was like, oh, okay, that's how you break it. No, that's not how you break it. It says it's currently harvestable, effective tool, axe, harvest level copper. Well, I don't have copper. I only have flint. So I got this stupid barrel sitting in the middle of my gorgeous, my gorgeous, area here and I can't friggin move it and apparently the only way you can move it is with a dolly and the only way you can make a dolly is with iron I don't have iron so this stupid thing is sitting here and now I'm mad <sighs> so yeah so that's part of is it this these no it's not these what quests are this is it this one no it's not this one that's a new one no not this one these, these are the quests. I got a new crafting. I got this thing here, which I don't know really what it does. It's a super crafting frame. It holds recipes or something. I don't know. 
I got a crafting memory. Oh, this crafting table holds recipes or something. I don't know. Keeps track of the last nine things that you made. That's how I got the saplings. Whoopee. Okay. Here's the barrel. Didn't tell you don't put the thing down because you can't move it. I thought the barrel hammer would move it and I got stickers to put on it. Whatever that means. So now I got this stupid thing. And I'm not doing the rest of these. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing the... Um, this is a storage of drawers divided evenly between slots of drawers, whatever. I'm not doing it because um, I don't need to put it down and I can't pick it back up. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then this one, better chests, detects any combination of planks and wool, planks from the, I don't know, whatever. Um, it seems these chests are too heavy to be carried on dollies. I, I don't even have a dolly. Uh, improve their improved chest. It sounds great. Sounds wonderful. Wonderful. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sounds wonderful. Sounds wonderful in regular Minecraft. But if I can't move these things around and, and, and I put it down, mm -mm. uh, I can paint it. I don't know what what the painter sounds great. Sounds wonderful, but nope, I ain't making none of these things. None of this stuff. I did make um a backpack type of thing that I can carry stuff around, which was that that I did. That I did. I got that, so I have two of those. This one here, I don't know what I would need this for. It's a bye-bye baggage. It's a void bag. It will destroy any items you put into it while having the advantage of being portable. I don't know why you would need that. And then it gives you a void chest. That's something, that sounds like something that um, would be dangerous for somebody like me. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I would put something in there I would need by accident and then it would um be bye bye <laughs> so i don't know if i want i don't know and then a compartmentalization i don't know if i trust making this this stuff because i can't move it uh, now i'm mad <laughs> so <laughs> i just i'm just mad now <laughs> so i don't know what i'm going to do with this thing i have no idea what to do with this thing because um i can't move it. So, um, yeah, it's a, yeah, I don't know what to do with that thing. I'm, I'm like almost ready to cheat a dolly so I can get it, at least get it out of here because it's, it's messing up my aesthetics and y'all know how I am about aesthetics. Look at this. Look at this. This is, this is not, this is not working for me. <laughs> this isn't working for me. <laughs> this is not working for me. So that's good. That's what's going on in here. <laughs> Yeah, that's the new crafting table. Okay, so there's the banner. I put the banner up there. So that's that's going. This is not what's. This is not happening. You know what? This is yeah. This is not happening. These are ten, ten, ten seeds. These are three, five, five seeds. I don't know. This is a uh, for maybe I'll put this seed down instead. I don't know. This is this isn't working. So let me let me try this. Um. A better seed. Let me do this. Which one is the four six six? Let me try this seed. If that's a better quality seed, and then let me just see what this one is. Four five six. Okay. We'll just put that in there. And okay, is that okay? All right, so then the other thing I don't know what I'm doing with and I'm having trouble f figuring it out, I'll show you. I don't know. And then the, um, the essence seeds gives you essence dust, and I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with that yet. And this stupid hammer, I just I guess I'll put it over here in tools. Um, so here are the bags, and the bags are pretty cool because I think you just right-click, yeah. And you get this extra space, and I think you can put stuff in them, and then they stay, and then that stuff stays in there. And so, yeah, you can carry extra stuff around. So it's cool. It's like a shulker box. Um, and I had to make one, and then I 
re- was rewarded one. I think I made it out of wool and spider webs, webs, I think. So, so yeah. So let me put some stuff away. Okay. So I finally, I finally got the mana pool and mana spreader thing going outside. Let me get my, my cutter here. You never know who's out there. I haven't seen, oh, Rodney Allen Rippy lately. Um, he hasn't come over. For all I know, he could still be stuck there on, in the chicken. Um, I need to get this stuff up. He could still be stuck over there. But so, yeah, I have this mana spreader here. Um, I should have brought the flowers out. I had the flowers over here. Okay, so I have this mana spreader. Pair, okay, so this is the mana pool, and this is the mana spreader. I don't know if they are linked because every video that I have watched, People are obviously know what they're doing, so they don't give much ex- explanation. Um, I mean, I know that it's obviously it's pointing to it, and the the dots are going, but I don't understand this arrow thing because if I click it, <clears throat> it goes back and forth. So I don't know if that means like does that mean that the <clears throat> mana is going into the pool, away from the pool. Like, what does that mean? One video had different words on the screen, and it said that the mana was going into the pool. You know, like it. It said it was. It they actually had words and not the picture. So I don't know if that was a different version of the Botania Botania mod pack. Um, this obviously says mana spreader, mana pool. So that I can tell that this is and then it does that so I don't understand I don't know like this and this I'm assuming that that means it's going into it when the arrows pointing that way but this thing never gets any fuller I mean it got full enough for me to get the excuse me it got full enough for me to get the essence seed but i can't i need to take a i and i also had to use the night blooms and the day blooms us oh, this mod pack is just too much for me doesn't give you much much explanation because you apparently need to know how to work all the mods that come in it and i don't um but i had to use the essence i had to use some kind of seed i can't even remember to to and put it in the mana to get essence seed so i was able to do that but now i have to um these things make me mad uh where where is it not that yeah this now i have to take a ender pearl and put it in the mana to make a mana pearl but apparently there isn't enough mana in the uh in that pool to do it so i'm confuzzled uh how to get the stuff so to get the um the mana things. So I have these day bloom, which is what you're supposed to use to get more mana. Oh, look at the cypress tree. Oh, just got pretty leaves and pretty wood. This isn't growing. Um, Oh, this probably won't grow because it's right under there. Okay, stay focused. So you take these day bloom, and apparently they'll die eventually, but you take these day bloom, and I don't even know if they're still alive or what, because uh, I've already used them, and they won't stack anymore now that I've used them, so I don't know what that means. But you take these day bloom, and I don't know. I think somebody said that they have to be one away from the mana spreader i don't know 
Um, is that connected? So I think that's linked to the monospreader. Is that linked to the monospreader? Is that what that means? Now, yeah, unknown status. So that means it's linked now, right? Linked. Linked. Linked, right? Yeah. So now they're linked. So they should be giving mana more energy to this mana spreader. Apparently, I don't know. I don't see anything happening on other people's videos. There was like green, there was like yellow energy moving that I never had no yellow energy moving. What is that noise? Is that this thing? I'm confused. I don't know how to use this thing. Um, it says it's linked. Am I supposed to like link it like this and this? I mean, I okay. So that no, because now it's turned. Oh, great, now I done turned the dag on the thing. I need. I need. Oh. Okay, no, I need it to go. Okay, that's that noise. I need it to go that way. So yeah, and that's it. Says it's linked, right? Because that's the check mark, is what I'm assuming. So I'm assuming it's giving them, it's linked, and it's giving them mana, and it's and this thing is doing that. So when I try to come up here to put this ender pearl in here, it's supposed to have a check mark where that. X is, and I can't put the ender pearl in here, and I do not want to try because I'm going to lose my ender pearl. So, <laughs> I, do not, I do not want to do that because um, they're not easy to get. Okay, so now, now it's ready. How do you put it? In, oh God, how do you put an ender pearl in here without losing it? Though this is the question. Like, do I tap on it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Duh. Okay. All right. Done. Okay. So, oh, nighttime is almost over. So we'll go out and check those in a minute. So we got this done and I can pick a reward. Okay, great. Um, Ender Pearl and Weak Essence or Skeleton Soul Seeds and Weak Essence. What in the world? The Skeleton? Um, I mean, you can make a stone which lets you condense the magic of the essence into a more potent form. Um, weak infusion stone. Um, well, I guess I can, I don't know what a skeleton soul seed is, so I guess I'm going to pick this. Oh, I got to wait till I finish this, I guess. Okay. Um, so I got to make a weak infusion stone. And how do I do that? Okay, so with the mana pearl and essence dust. Okay, so that's I got a bunch of that because I've been making that. Uh, so what did I need? Eight of those. So oh, do I have the mana pearl? Yep, yeah, still got the mana pearl. Okay, so put that and that. And it makes a weak infusion stone. Okay. So now I got that. Oh, I know it's more to it. Great. And now I have to make a weak essence. How do I make that? Okay. I take the weak infusion stone and four of those. Okay. Weak infusion stone and four of these. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right. I don't know what these things do, but one of those, one, two, three, four. Is that what I'm supposed to be making? Weak essence? Wait a minute. Oh, shoot. Weak essence. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Just making sure because I don't have another way to make another one of those. Oh, and I keep that. Okay. Good to know. Okay, so now I have weak essence. Um, so now I can pick one. I can pick this. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, oh, I get these, and then I pick one of those. 
Weak essence or skeleton seed still. Oh, I wish it told you what she, what these things do. Well, I can make weak essence because I make weak essence, right? I just made weak essence from this and that stuff. What is that? Master infusion stone. I don't know what that is. Okay, so I can make weak essence. Oh, Lord. Um, I'll get a skeleton soul seed because I don't know what that is. All right. It says seed. Skeleton soul seed. I don't even, I don't know. I don't know that I want to know. I, I don't. I don't know that I want to know what that is. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to put it. I don't know if that's a garden crop. I'm going to stick that over here. So what is this stuff? Okay, so this cuporious conduction, repeatable quest. Maybe you'll find some traces of copper amongst the fragments of clay you've dug up. How? Um, clay, floral, orange. Powder and weak essence. A task order for here can hand in items or fluids. One can also use the quest delivery system to submit item in fluids. Clay. How do I find some traces of copper amongst the fragments of clay you've dug up? Okay. Some material, okay, so what is, how do I do this? Some materials don't seem to react quite as you'd hoped to the weak essence. Making a new, more potent infusion stone with the essences you've cultivated thus far should allow you to further increase the potency of your essence, allowing more seeds to be developed. Okay, I believe, oh boy, yeah, I do believe I need to, this, um, I need to do some other stuff elsewhere before I get to that. Still don't know how to do this. Some other crops require special soils, akin to sugarcane, requiring sand, and essence crops requiring garden soil. The one most worth noting is that mushroom spores require mycelium in order to be able to grow. This can be obtained by using infants, infestation pores on dirt. So I need a mushroom to get and put it into mana. Oh, wait a minute. I think I have a mushroom. Wait, one. Oh, is it any kind of mushroom? Wait a minute. Mushroom? No. Oh, it does. But it's not allowing me to. It's not enough mana in this pool. How? What? What gives me better mana? Are these? Is it because? I wonder if it's because when they don't stack, they're dead. How do you tell? I do have better day blooms. I do have more day blooms. They're easy to make. I can make them in the uh, apothecary. Do hickey. Lincoln, Lincoln, tunnel. Okay. All right. So, not enough, but it's possible. I wonder if I can use these to get more mana going. Or does that, if they look like that, does that mean they're dead? Link. Link, link, link. Link. It's the green bar never gets any bet any fuller, and this blue bar definitely never gets any fuller. So I I oh lies, lies and more lies. Okay. There we go. Did I get it? Oh, shoot. Oh, there it is. Okay. I got some. Infestation pour, spore. Yes, Lisa. Work this mod. Work it. Okay. Excellent. So I got that. So now I can grow a... Well, I don't have no mycelium. 
Oh, I know I do. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now I can grow um, mushrooms. Oh, red mushroom spores. What is that on, on, on mycelium? Okay. Wonderful. I want to do this. I want to go under the water. My idea of going under the sea with jack-o'-lanterns and that snorkel. That's, 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 that's my plan. The plan is to see if these jack-o'-lanterns work underwater. I, I should have even checked to see if they do, but um, they work in regular Minecraft under the water. So, yes, they kind of do. Um, so let's see what we can, I mean, at least they light it up a little bit. <laughs> so we can kind of see what we can see. Oh, I might need a thousand of these. Um, I'm looking for, oh shoot, I'm going to die. Okay. Jeez, Lisa. Remember that you don't have a whole lot of breath. It's really deep in here. And it's so dark. I mean, really? I got to turn up the brightness. I don't know what else to do. Let's turn up the brightness. <laughs> Let's see, does that help? No. <laughs> Is there a shallow? This is pretty deep down here. That's not helping. Um, well, it's a little bit better. It's a little better. I don't see anything that looks like pearls down here. Oh, I better hurry. Oh, I better hurry. Lisa. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gracious. Oh. Get out of the water. This was a good idea, but um, let me get up here and let my <laughs> let's uh consider what we're doing here. Okay, yep, this was a good idea, but it's I don't see anything that looks like pearls. I mean, I don't even know what I'm looking for. So let's see. Spiders underground, underwater? This is dirt. Oh, there's lots of clay. Jeez, get back up, get back up, get back up, get back up. What is this in my inventory? Dried kelp. Can I do anything with this? Look at me. Look at my <laughs> my trail of pumpkins. This was a brilliant idea, though, Lisa. If I do say so myself. What is that down there? That black thing right there. I'm going down to it. Is that just a hole? Probably just a daggone hole. Yep, yeah, just a hole. Well, what's this? <gasps> I think I found it. I think I found it. I think I found two. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I am gonna die. He's like, get out of the water. Got it. Got a poil. Got a poil. I got a poil. Okay, let's go back down. There's another one right here. There's another poil. And there's another poil. Oh, there's no poil in that one. That's an empty poil. Okay. All right, so now we know what we're looking for. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's two. Oh, I got to go back up. I got to go back up. I got to go back up. Oh, I got to go back up. Oh, don't you lag on me now. Okay. 
All right. Okay. Oh, I got two poils. Oh, go back up. Okay. Eat this. All right. So jack o' lanterns and lots of food. Get your poils. All right. Go down. Get your poils. Yes, poils. Poil. Oh, get that poil. Yes. I don't know if this is giving me a poil or not, so I'm just breaking it because I can't tell. Oh, yes, poils. Okay. I think, I think, oh, get out, Lisa. Goja, boja, boja. Get on out, girl. Get on out. Yes. Okay. Um, I didn't bring the book, so I don't know um, how many I needed, but now I know what they look like, so I know what I'm looking for, and I know that my brilliant idea was pretty brilliant. I wish I had a thought of it before. Now, is this the poil? Oh, it's a green poil. That's a pearl oyster. Oh, get Lisa. Get, stay, stay afloat now. All right, let's go in. Yes, we got poils. Where did I get this enter poil? Did that come out of the out of the thing? All right, where's my book? Did I put it in here? Yes. Okay. So we have a green pearl, a pearl oyster, and I must have got an enter pearl out of one of them. I, I, I guess. I don't know. I didn't kill an ender pearl, did I? Okay, so I only needed one pearl oyster, and oyster, and I'm going to get seven pearl oysters, how to dive, breathing underwater, and I see which is God. Yes! Give them to me. Yes, give them to me. Did I open up anything more? Nope. Oh, it unlocks a quest somewhere else. All right, excellent. I want to do this. Fish are the first animal you found to have the potential for genetic enhancement. I haven't seen any fish. To get started breeding them, though, you'll need a way to catch them, which will require some form of bait. The only fish I've seen are the squid. Are those fish? All right. So a sifter. A sifter is a two-by-one multi-block. Oh, it makes you two sifters. So it was just one of these. One of these. One of these gives you makes you two sifters. Okay, so I did that, and I'm gonna get grasshopper bait. Okay, wonderful. And now what? Oh, I'm gonna get a fishy, fishy situation. Oh, right. Let's see how this works. Now that you've got some bait, time to arm yourself with a fishing rod and find yourself some fish. To catch live fish, you'll probably want to stand in water. Better fishing rods can be made from wood soaked in fish oil and titanium, each having better chances of catching fish and requiring different types of bait. Who's got titanium? are they talking about? Okay, so I need sugar cane and two... Oh, gosh. Oh, look at me with some grasshopper. Look at me with some grasshoppers. Yes, weed fishing rod. All right. So I got a fishing rod. I'm going to get a wooding fishing rod, a fluid tank, and a fishing and breeding. Okay, so I got to do the detection task. You've got a rod, now catch a fish. To the, use the rod with bait, place the bait in the slot next to the rod on your hot bar. Note, fishing is not biome or water type specific in this pack. Okay, so I got to catch a cod. Oh, boy. Okay, and here they go again. Oh, what? Nope. Oh, we're getting nature seeds. We're getting nature seeds. Always want to start co hair cussing. That's when it happens. Okay. Um, all right, let's go fishing. We put the bait in the hot bar. Oh, <gasps> look at y'all. Tuna. Y'all, we're getting. Oh, 
Oh, don't get excited now. We getting food. What'd I get? Neon Tetra. Tuna. Raw goldfish. What's a Neon Tetra? Lifespan tiny. Fertility very low. Productivity hard worker. Yes, what they do. What else I get? Cod. Yes. Lifespan long. Fertility extremely high. Productivity normal. Do I just need to get one cod? What was it that I needed to get? What? Is it this one? No. Is it this one? No. There we go. Okay. So we got the cod. So now we're going to get this stuff. Oh, baby. So what did that do? So now feeding time. Oh, baby. <laughs> I'm taking it down. Hang on to my guitar, mama. All right. Um, fluid tank, fishing and breeding. We're going to breed fish. Let me go in and put my, I uh, hope these fish don't go bad. Where are these fish? Yeah, that doesn't, hopefully they don't go bad. Okay. I'm going to, um, let me put these fishes away. Cause I'm going to have to work on that. Um, for next time, got my fish, my cucumbers are done. So I'm going to end right here while I check my cucumbers and see what, what we're at. I don't think we're at 10, 10, 10. No, we're only at five, seven, six. So I'll have to replant those and get those started. But yeah, we're moving quite, uh, quite good here through the mod. We're getting fish. We're going to have a fishery. <laughs> and uh, I don't know where I'm going to put that. I guess that's going to have to go out in the water, which means um, I might have to further my cobble wall. I don't know. Uh, I have to figure that out. But um, thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for hanging out. Um, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, that's it for this video. Don't forget to follow me over on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch, of course, where I stream. And I will see you all again next week for some more regrowth. Me and Flutter Muffin and my cucumber say bye-bye.